In the last couple episodes, Todd was anchored out waiting for dock space while the kids and I were in Alaska. Now we're back and we're excited to get back to the boat. Okay, this week Todd and Gabe are gone working and the girls and I are going to spend the night for at least one night. This will be our first time on the boat overnight, right? Not Denali's first time. Not Denali's first time. She stayed with Todd. <laughs> Todd and I started traveling in an RV eight years ago with seven of our ten kids. One by one they've flown the coop and started their own adventures. Now, after three years of fixing up a hurricane-damaged sailboat, we're ready to explore the world with our last three kiddos before they're gone, too. Okay, so we've got everything kind of picked up. This is more organized. <laughs> I've done an organization here. I asked Todd to do it before he left, and he ran out of time, so I did it, which means he won't be able to find anything that he's looking for. And because we're spending a couple days here, we also cleared some counter space so that we could use the kitchen. It's not, we don't have much counter space, but that's cleared. All right, the big thing here is I really don't want to paint the walls in the bathroom if I don't have to. They're that laminate plastic stuff and they're stained. Our friend Leslie just gave me some things to try and we're gonna see, are you gonna help me? No. I'm going to see if I can get the stains off, which would save me having to sand it, prime it, and paint it. Or if I can get it off to the point that I don't actually care. I'm not sure. The walls up here are pretty good. There's a few little spots that have gotten dirty, but these Katie painted. What we're putting in here is going to fill this space and it will hide that nasty to here, but then there's still that nasty. Why is the toilet in here? Well, we were seeing how it fit in here. You can see some of these stains, and that's the stuff that I just don't know if I can get it clean. Like, this is greasy hand prints. All right, I managed to get that grease off of there. When are we gonna have dinner? What time is it? Around, it's almost four. Probably five or six. I'm hungry. Go eat something that's in the kitchen. There's potato chips, there's corn chips, there's grapes. Okay, so what I've discovered about some of these spots is that it's glue. It's glue from putting these things on that they left or smeared or whatever and over time it has turned yellow and sandpaper is getting it off. Um, this is a pretty dark room <laughs> all the time and I can't really see the scratches I'm obviously making so I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to try and clean this and then I won't have to paint it. Yay! One big wall and a small wall mostly done. That's a lot of work. But I think that that's looking a lot better. So I have something to say to those men who are watching that have their own boat. Clean up after yourself. I've got yellow on the walls around where the toilet was that does not coming off and that's gross and that's you guys. Don't let that happen. Okay, we have had pizza and broccoli with our neighbor and now we're getting ready to go to bed. 
we gotta play a game. Play oh, that's right. We have to play cards, play phase 10 before we go to bed. Oh, can you tell them how Denali ran up the stairs when we were gone? Nope. Why? <laughs> so, Denali escaped while we were going to go get pizza. I'm going yes. to pick it up. And luckily, we have a fantastic marina, and they were all mobilized out looking for her when we got back. The girls think they're going to sleep. Where are you going to sleep? Um, up in the hammock. Hopefully, it doesn't rain I'm tonight. Okay. Crossing we set up the little blow up lights out there. Yeah, so we've we got the Lucy light. Are you excited? sleep out here tonight. This is gonna be an adventure. We're having a fantastic time while Todd and Gabe are working and we're having pizza and sleepovers and games. It's gonna be awesome. You don't think this is a sleepover? What is this? Technically this is a sleepover because we're sleeping somewhere else. <laughs> Good morning. It was a wonderful night here on the boat. Our first experience. What do you think? You have an icky face from eating breakfast. Well, did you have a good time? I woke up multiple times. Yeah, the wind was blowing last night, wasn't it? <coughs> so did you spend the night in the hammocks? Mm -mm. You ended up coming in, were you cold or was it just weird? A little of both? So is Abigail up yet? No, she's sleeping still. She's sleeping still. Oh, I love their boat is full of light. So I figure if we're going to be staying on the boat more often than not, that I probably gotta get this kitchen clean. And these countertops are so stained from Todd working. I just don't know if we're gonna get them clean or not, but Todd's loath to replace them. Okay, I have a small challenge, and it's a common one that I see people talk about in boat galleys. The refrigerator is so deep, I cannot reach Todd's stash of sodas from when he was on the hook. <laughs> I'm like, I, am, I sent the kids off to try and get somebody to help them with their fishing pole, because I don't know anything about that, and Todd's out of town. So I can't have them get in there. I got a little bit of bleach soaking the rust spots. I don't know if that's going to help, but I also don't want to get that on my shirt. All right, let me think about this. This is our nasty refrigerator and it has been cleaned. Our daughter Katie cleaned it a long time ago, but it's kind of smelling mildewy and there is some water in the bottom of it. The thing about these is they don't work really well when they're empty and just have a few things in them. So I don't think it's working currently, working very well. The kids are back. They did not find the help they needed. Did you go over to Jason's? Try going over to Jason's, Halo's boat. Oh, it doesn't need to be on it. It does need to be on it. It needs to be on right. Okay, let's see if this works. did this she had to almost like get inside of it and we had to pull her out by her legs so I think it's Abigail's turn to do that what do you think Abigail can you help me clean the refrigerator it's Liberty's turn <laughs> Liberty's so small she could just get inside of it right no, I'm not doing that that's too moldy it's not moldy I don't like it it smells gross oh, I'm gonna put some stuff in it makes it smell better I'm not doing it. No? Alright. You can. I can? I won't fit. Okay, Liberty. What? You can do that by yourself if you look up on Google how to tie a fish hook on a There's no certain way. Yes, there is a certain way. Otherwise the the hook just comes off the line. I need to like put you in the hole. I'm too big. 
You're not too big. If I help you lean over and into there, your head's going to have to go down in the hole. Stinks. I know. That's why we have to wash it out. Now, here's one thing we can try first. You want to try something else first? Can you reach it? Is there any spiders? No, there's no spiders. All right, why don't we try pouring some water to rinse the bottom out? It has a drain in the bottom of it. Okay, so the ticket to be at my being able to get to the bottom of this was to get taller. Using the stool, it gave me a higher leverage or pivot point and I was able to get down in here. Ah. Well, over these help? Nope. Ow. Do I fish? No. I'm just done. I'm done. <laughs> oh my word. All right. I'm not sure how to solve this problem and it doesn't feel like the fridge is even on. And Todd's out of town. It just occurred to me that Todd may have turned this off and I should check the breaker. Refrigerator, it's off. That doesn't turn on though. I guess I should call him and ask him. I bet you that's what's wrong. Okay, we got it turned back on. One of the things that we realized when we put our panel where we put it is that as we move ourselves and things through this passageway, it's pretty narrow and apparently the refrigerator got turned off because nobody did it on purpose. It's also not marked as the refrigerator and Todd said that's because that's the breaker that had the amperage he needed and he wasn't sure he was going to keep it like that so he didn't remark it. Um, anyways, so we're going to get some ice and put in here to help it get colder faster because I bought all of this food for the next couple of days thinking this refrigerator was on. I'm gonna see if this fits in here. Man, it's only like an inch short. Mom, what? we got one bag, is that enough? Yeah. Okay, so the marina has ice. For the record, it's $3.25, but they don't have change. Where's the ice? Uh, it's heavy. It's heavy. a big bag. Be careful, oh, there's a hole in it. Oh, I accidentally put a hole in it. That's a really big bag of ice. For $3. Yeah. So I have a bucket in the bottom of this that I'm going to put the ice in to hopefully, since we're having a problem with the drain, um, reduce water in places that we don't want it. Okay. So this is now on and wow, starting to get cold. Let me see. See, it's starting to get cold. The metal. Mm. Yeah. This kind of refrigerator thing is completely new to me. So if you've got any tips, please put them down below. It still smells, doesn't it? If you have any tips for making it not smell, like we've washed it with bleach water and it still smells. I want one of these for dinner. Uh, we're having leftover pizza, remember? What I need is some shelves in here. And it has brackets for two shelves. So Todd's gonna have to make those for me. I think that's all that needs to go in the fridge. I'm not of these. Let's see. Ew, Without a yeah. shelf, these are kind of difficult to put in here. This peanut butter is juicy. I've been listening to the podcast from the boat galley and we don't have a very good gasket on here. There's a very thin one down along this edge, but apparently we need to fix that. Mom. There's a lot of things about this refrigerator that need work. Do 
Maybe I put these in under the sink. Now we have to clean the rest of the kitchen. I I'll clean the kitchen. Do you want to clean the no, kitchen? No, I said it first. No, I like, I said it first actually. Did your kids fight over who gets to clean the kitchen? They did not want to do the refrigerator, but now they'll do the rest of it. French smells. I know. Mom, can I'm totally I clean good the with kitchen? you. Can both work on the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> we'll figure this out. I love how much light is in our boat every morning. As I'm getting up, I'm remembering I need to check on the refrigerator. One of the things Todd said is that if we weren't careful, we would freeze the sodas at the bottom of the thing. And so I adjusted it a little last night. I watched it every couple hours. But I'm not sure what we're gonna find this morning, if the sodas are gonna be frozen or what. seems to have exploded. It's pretty cold in there. That's those things right on the top. 34, 31, 22, 26. The sodas are not, and they don't even feel that cold. I'm not sure. It appears that it's okay at a, an okay temperature. Like it's keeping the ice frozen, the drinks are not frozen. It probably should be pretty stable as it ran overnight, right? <laughs> oh, we'll just keep watching it and see what happens. Are you ready for breakfast? 